Looking to buy or upgrade to the Weber Q1200N? Then this is the video for you. Don't forget if you use the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. So around eight weeks ago, I bought the Weber Q1200N. I've been running this for around the 12 weeks, done a fair few cook up on it. Now, is it worth the upgrade or is it worth investing in? Well, today we're going to be doing the pros and cons and comparing it against the original Weber Q1200. So let's jump straight into it. Right, so on my left, we've got the Weber Q1200. This model has been going for a fair few years. As we all know, the Weber q 1200 1200N has been released in Australia. It was released in 2023. This is a newer version of the Baby Q. There's also a newer version of this for the Q2000 and a Q3200. There are two versions of this. You've got the higher lid and the lower lid. Same as you have with this. The only difference being with the original Q range, it was literally $10 more for that higher lid and that electronic ignition. When you jump over to the Q1200N and the other models, it is $30 more for that higher lid, that thermometer and that electronic ignition. So it has gone up a little bit bit the difference being between the two is this does come with side tables included in australia where before you used to have to buy separate side tables so i'm going to jump into what the pros are of this and comparing them and then i will jump in to the negatives i have found over time using this over the last eight weeks now with the original baby q the thermometer is on the front when we compare that to the q1200n the thermometer has moved to the top of the q it is a bigger thermometer so it's a little bit like the one that's fit on the Weber genesis side tables aren't on at the moment they do just clip on compared to the original baby q when they would literally fold out you may notice on my original baby q i've got the k on side tables there is a reason for that the original baby q did not come with side tables you had to buy them as an optional extra so if you buy an original baby q still in australia you've got to buy those side tables at an optional extra so that's an extra cost where the q1200n does come with those included our gas on off has gone from the side to the front on the q1200n looking at the frame the frame's a little bit thinner on the original q compared to the q1200n where it is beefed up and has more or less the same footprint as the q2000 grease pan on the 1200 pulls out from the side and it is a little bit fiddly i find to get back in over time but you do get used to it compared to the 1200n where it literally fits in on the front as you look at the gas connections, Weber have changed them and they have changed these on the earlier models now. It is all this connection, so it's an American style connection that just screws on. This one I find a little bit awkward to fit. It takes two hands to get it on. With this one, you can literally fit it with one hand. It's really simple to fit and really, really quick and gives you a great seal compared to this one where you've got to keep wiggling it and twisting it just to get it to tighten. The original baby Q, we do struggle with that cooking surface, but comparing that to the 1200N, we've got a little bit more space and you can cook up to eight burgers on. On it. So that's another positive. Now looking at the burner tube, we've got five and three quarter inches by 12 and a quarter inches. And surprisingly on the 1200N, we've got five and three quarter inches by 12 and a quarter inches. The burner tube is the same, considering we've got a slightly bigger chamber. Cleaning wise with the original Baby Q, you've got to feed everything and all the bit of debris down that little tiny hole. And with the Q1200N, you've got three times the length to shift all that debris down into that collection tray. So the pros of having the Q1200N, you get included side tables, you've got that higher lid, so you've got no issues with fitting those bigger roasts on. You've got a little bit of a bigger area to cook on. It does heat up really, really quick, and the same as the Q1200, so you're pretty on par there. Gets a little bit hotter, that may be because it's new. And one thing I did find that I find with the Baby Q is this was more susceptible to wind than this one. Whether that's because they've moved that collection tray and it's the front and it's a little bit closer to the base, it's not gonna blow out. I have had issues with my baby Q blowing out over time, coming outside, going to relight it, and forgetting to open the lid and let the excess gas go before I reignite it. So that's one issue I have had with this baby Q over time. This one seems to be on windy days. I haven't had an issue with that. So that is another bonus to this. Baby Q wise, if you've got an original Baby Q, you can fit the higher collection trays in there the, from your coals and woodies, which you can't do with the new Q1200N. With the original Baby Q, like I said, it didn't come with side tables. Look, these are K on side tables, and these are a fantastic addition. K on don't do any for the Q1200N, and there's a reason I wish they did. So, what I'm going to do is show you the issue I've had with these, and it's normally when I'm transferring my meat to the Baby Q1200N or when I'm transferring it out the Baby Q. 
to transfer it inside. So what we've got is a 1.1 kilo flour and another kilo here. So I'm going to put two kilos literally on this. And you can see it does, it does drop a little bit. So I think Kayon could do us a favor by making some side tables with this. Yes, Webber, you're giving us some side tables, but they are just as weak as the original ones that came with the Baby Q. So I'll do the same test with the can side side tables. And you can see now, there's no give in that, there's no give. So compared to where you put the original ones on here, they are quite flimsy compared to that. I mean, that's that's pretty strong and it does support my chopping board with the meat on there when I'm cooking, whereas I found this one, it is a little bit iffy. It does hold it, but it does drop down a little bit. So that's one negative I've got against this, which isn't too much. The only other negative as of recording this video is the fact there's no rotisserie system for this. I know they've released it for the bigger version. So the Family Q does have the rotisserie now for it in Australia. But a, if you want a rotisserie, you've got to go with the original Baby Q compared to having a rotisserie for this Q1200N. It will Will come over time. Webber haven't announced when they're going to release that, so it could be pretty soon. So if you've got an original baby Q, you don't really need to upgrade. For what you're gaining, you're gaining a little bit of cooking space. You're gaining the height, so you can fit those casserole dishes on there. But what I used to do with mine is just fit the rotisserie surround on there, and then I could fit something a little bit taller on there anyway. So it wasn't really an issue if you've got the Weber rotisserie. If you haven't, and your queue's getting pretty old, then you could upgrade to the 1200N. But with the side tables, I think the side tables are a little bit weak. You have got to buy the new trolley for this to fit on. It will fit on the original trolley as well. I would have put a link to that at the end of this video. So if you want to see where it'll fit on the original baby Q trolley, it will, but there is a few issues with that. So the only negatives I've got is the side tables, the collection tray, you can't fit those cheaper drip trays from Coles and Woolies, which isn't no biggie really, but you can buy your drip trays for this in bulk, and I will put a link down where to get those from, so they'll be a lot cheaper than buying them from Weber. The other bonus was that new gas connection. It's great, especially if you're putting it on those bottles when you've only got one hand available. It's just a lot easier to connect, and I had no issues with that. Now, the other bonus with it is it's not susceptible to wind compared to the original Baby Q. So I had no issues with these blowing out, and we've had quite a few windy nights over the past coming weeks while I've been cooking on this. Now, I have done a few cook-ups with this. We've done pork crackle, done some burgers on there. We've, we've done some lamb on there. We've also done a butterfly chicken, which turned out superb. So uh, there is some great cook-ups that I've done on these. Those will be coming soon to the channel. So cooking-wise, it cooks fantastic, just as good as the original Baby Q. Only a few negatives. If you've got original Baby Q, it's entirely up to if you upgrade. My advice is just stick with your Baby Q for now until the rest of the accessories come out here. And if Kayon do some side tables for the Q1200 then it would be a massive improvement. So enjoy the quick review. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks for watching. Happy grilling and I'll catch you next one.